Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory Saturday Night Grab Bag. Coming at you. Another uh, Link to the Past randomizer with Key Sanity involved. I kind of need the practice since this is uh, for a marathon event coming up in now less than two months. So, let's, let's get a little prisity practice in here, huh? Maybe uh, get the sub three hour unlock, hopefully. Um, Key Sanity is always kind of a different animal because it can be vastly... Vastly, vastly more volatile than a non-key sanity seed, but uh, let's go ahead and get this going in three, two, one. Go, 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 Let's go. First item. A map to T-Rock. <laughs> okay. Not terribly useful right now, but whatever. We'll take it. Since maps uh, and, and compasses actually have uh, value in key sanity, I'm okay with with seeing those now. If this were non-key sanity, I'd be like, ah, what a fucking waste. Full ass magic, sure. Tree pull is nothing but hearts. Lebu. Lebu. Check Uncle in this other chest down here. Eh? <laughs> Five or some pocket change. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks for that, I guess. Ouch. A bomb drop off of them. Oh, there's some bombs there. That'll work. That will work and be rather helpful, in fact. That gets us to most of the items in Kakariko. Big ol' heart container and sank. Maybe that was vanilla sank heart, even. How silly would that have been? <laughs> But okay, you know what? Early health. Early health is fine. Early health is super fine. Just gonna hope there's not a any sort of key on the egg ledge here. The lumberjack ledge, rather. Because that would be bad. That would be not great and not fun. I'd be very upset. Or marginally upset. Maybe not very- maybe very is being a little too strong. Moderately upset, perhaps. About the crab drop. Single groups. Shh. Ain't got time to sit around for that. Alright, Lumberjack Ledge, fingers crossed. It's nothing good. It's a red bottle. Alright, you know what? Don't need that. Don't need that, and hopefully that means Ega 1 not required. Although, that doesn't necessarily preclude the two items in Hyrule Castle Tower not being required, but we can always hope. As they say, hope springeth eternal. Mushroom spot has the lamp, heck yeah. Rip dark rooms, we will be seeing none of those. Excellent. Early lamp is always kind of nice. Kind of ditches a lot of stuff in a nice blue bottle, huh? All right. Very good. Very good, very good. I get up the stairs, please. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. You know, some some good utility value in the old Lost Woods today. Cannot complain about any of that. Could use some more bombs to finish up Kakarika and maybe make South Shore a viable play. items in the old blind set here. Compass to Thieves Town, sure. Blue mail, excellent. Small key to Hyrule Castle, boo. <laughs> and a flute, heck yeah, flutes. Early ass flute, we'll take it. And a big three hundo, excellent. Well, money's looking good. we get out of that? Loot lamp bottle. Oh, and I've got a key. That's right. A key to Hyrule Castle. Or Hyrule Castle Tower, rather. Since those are separate things. Okay, well good. Early flute means early fast travel. Which is real nice. Ten bombs? Sure. Sure, sure. 
Our map, we got a map to swamp. Alright. Power glove. It's so bad. Another heart container. And a compass to Skull Woods. Alright. Power glove is an interesting pickup. That opens up Zora for us. Hundred bucks for a Dark Palace key. Okay. Hmm. Okay. An interesting start so far, um, but I do like the amount of utility items we have. If we get the bow, then that puts uh, Eastern directly on our map. Also makes it full clearable, which is nice. Pretty much in Keysandy, my MO is to full clear pretty much any dungeon we can afford to we can afford to full clear, because I don't want to accidentally leave anything behind. A piece of candy in the back of the KFC. Nah. Not super helpful. Especially since we've started off with uh, two full ass heart containers. Eh? Baby's first shield, okay. I mean, it's... It's something. <laughs> Not terribly valuable, but it's something. What about the back of the bar? How'd they do last night? Well, they've confiscated some parchment. The map of Ganon's Tower. Fucking... The most worthless piece of parchment. That ever could be. Alright, whatever. That's fine. We'll check the old library, see what's up there. Probably hit race game right away. Big ol' heart container. Okay. Chances are we're probably not gonna come back to that. No matter what. Fifteen seconds. Oh no. How will we ever get that far that fast? Me, the fastest hedgehog alive. Ooh, it's a small key. What do we got? Key to what? Small key to Misery Mire. Okay. You know what? That's fine. Level 20. We do have eight bombs, so that should get us through Mini Wormulon Cave, South Shore, and hopefully we'll have one left over for Ice Rod Cave. Under the water, oh, 50 buckos. You know what? Sure. You know what? Sure. Hey, Street Lamar, how you doing? To see it. Something else blue. Flute will not open a wall. <laughs> okay, seven while six bombs technically, so let's see. Make this work. Eh? Freebie. Yeah! A little late on the toss there. <laughs> Shitheads. Yeah, there we go. Two for one and a nice big 20 drop. Sure. Excellent. That full magic that we don't need. Very good. Alright, three bombs to spare. Small key to pod. That's our second one. Another set of bombs. 50 more buckos. Fiver and a big old 20. Alright, well. Getting closer and closer to Zora Cash. Not quite there yet. <laughs> You're okay, you can park in your driveway again. You weren't able to park in your driveway before? What happened? It's not the winter season, so it can't be snow. Are you cleaning out the garage or something? She had to pack stuff out. 
pack it back in. I don't know why I went over on that side. That was silly. Whoa. Crab getting a little crabby there. Do, do, do. Had it ripped out and repaved. Oh, okay. I see. Well, that's cool. Some nice, fresh concrete, though. Piece of candy, a ice rod cave. What a waste. All right, I think we should probably do. Well, we can do the entirety of escape. Actually, got enough bombs. Oh wait. Oh boy, do we have the materials for this? I don't know if five bombs is gonna cut it. Cause we don't have a weapon. Let's see. What do we need to do? We need to kill. One, two. Three. We might have enough bombs for this. Oh, asphalt. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> well, ownership is a lot of random bullshit that costs money you never thought of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's very true, isn't it? That's very true. I understand because I am also a homeowner. <laughs> Alright, we're going to see if we can get through this. I think six bombs should be enough if I'm not stupid about using them. Maybe I can get another bomb drop or something. Eh. No, nothing but hearts. I guess we'll grab those. Hmm, unless we get lucky and get like a hammer or a hook shot or something on the way down, that'd be real nice. Ooh, we're gonna have to. Ooh. Mm, I don't know how we're gonna handle this, actually. Shit. Of course he walks around it, you piece of ass. Alright. Oh, good, it's a compass. Thanks. We're gonna play this nice and safe, because I don't wanna... Okay, I don't wanna fuck this up on the way down. Okay, so we need to... Ooh, we're gonna have just barely enough. Uh, crap, actually we won't have enough. We should be able to finish the front side if I don't fuck up any more bomb usage, but... I'm not gonna be able to get to... Oh, I might be able to get to Dark Cross. Hmm, I don't know. I'm, I'm usually not down here without a, some sort of weapon. We definitely need to murder this guy. Please stay over there, you fuck. Ah, oh, that's super lame. Okay, you stay around that thing, please. And drop me a bomb. Wow, a four popper drop, huh? Okay, that might just barely put us over. Monkey to Ice Palace. <laughs> we might still be able to pull this off. This will be a, a heck of a go if we can manage this. <laughs> you don't have to mow the driveway anymore. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you. I, I thought you were talking about the the concrete within the within the garage. Sorry, I had crossed something. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I get you. You don't have to mow your driveway. Yeah, that's that's helpful, isn't it? Okay, actually I should set up for the death warp here. Which is harder to do since I have blue mail. There we go. Big key of this dungeon, go figure. And that's a small key to Ganon's tower. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, so there we go. We set that up properly. Now three bombs we should be able to pull. We'll just need to kill a rat, I think, and then we sh hopefully we'll have one bomb left over for the back side. Although we don't really even need to do it this way. We could do it the other way too. But I do want to check Dark Cross. So hopefully we'll have enough behind us to do that. Excuse me, sir. Whoa, excuse me. Alright. Cross will be. Yeah. Get out of here. 
Um, did I fuck something up? Oh no, no, we should be fine. Because then I'll get the key from the rat and we'll be good to go. Alright, so here's where I gotta somehow get the right rat with just a bomb. Oh, sick. Nice. And we got a bomb drop out of it. Alright. Whew. That was actually kind of lucky. Alright, so that worked out. Somehow, that worked out. 20. Another G-Tower small key and a... Ugh. Piece of candy. Alright, that was kind of a bust. But, we got it marked off, so whatever. Hmm. Let's see, we still got a few places we can go. We could, in theory... Um, farm up a little bit of cash and go for Zora. I'd rather not. But if we have to, we have to. The dude abides? What? No, my name isn't dude. My name is, well, I don't know. My name is what? Sonic? Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. <clears throat> I do like that movie, though. It's been a hot second since I've seen Big Lebowski. That's a weird, weird ass movie. Oh, nice big old heart container. Thanks, old man. I think. I could probably watch it again and I still wouldn't understand what the fuck is going on in that in my way. Damn boulders and squirrels. Alright, so old man was just a heart container. That's okay. Uh, Alright, can at least check what's up top, see if it's worth anything. Oh, the other glove is up top. Oh boy. Okay. So the ten arrows in there. Okay. Well, we know where the Mitts are. Man, I really. <laughs> Oops. Can't go anywhere from indoors. So we'll check Agnes' uh, cave real quick and the desert ledge. Powder on desert ledge. Interesting. Okay. Only really locks up one more item. This is a very good safety game as well. So we'll see what Agen has got for us. We'll hit the... the 50 bucks for Zora Cash on the way out. And then we'll probably just go over to Sashasha Shershala. And maybe dip into Eastern. <clears throat> oh good! One dollar! Thanks, Agen. Your retirement pension is a little slim there, buddy. Sucks. Alright, well, doesn't get us a whole bunch, but we'll stop by this dude's cave for a bit, get some money, and then flute over to Shur 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 three bombs, so this is gonna be a, a fun go until we get something. I guess we'll do the fake flipper up to there. Yeah, a little bit too far. Ah. There we go. That should do it. Do, do, do. Oh, I, I suppose we could check um, Hobo while we're here, too. And the island. What's on the island? Oh, boots on the island? Are you serious? Oh, that sucks. 
Okay. Well, we know where they are. That's good. I just hate that they're there. Every time you try anything random, you're forced to traverse a dark cave without a lantern. You can't navigate it at all. Yeah, it's kind of rough. It's kind of rough sometimes. Some of the dark rooms are okay. Some are just pieces of shit. Well, luckily, we got a lamp super early this go, so... I don't have to worry about that now. Ah, piece of candy from the hobo. First fake flipper on out of here so we can go up to Zora now. Okay, so we know the boots are on the island. We're going to need Dark World access plus a mirror to get it. Fortunately, it locks us to walking speed for the duration here. We don't have moon pearls, so we can't do uh, uh, can't do waterfall of wishing, fortunately. <clears throat> yeah, fake flipper positioning is there's a, a few different ways to do it. I tend to use the whole sword buffering to the edge of the screen thing. There's a there's a bush you can line up with on that on the opposite screen on the south shore there. Kind of get perfect diagonal movement up for it to guarantee fake flippers. But I've never really been able to get that to work reliably. <clears throat> and the reverse fake flipper from Hobo is actually kind of easy. You go up against the pillar, one pixel down, and then just go straight for the water. And then that works out. Oh, I didn't check what was actually on the ledge there. We got here small key to Desert Palace, so well, that might be useful. I guess we'll backtrack this out anyway, so we can flute to sure 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 butter. Sonic have a green nose. That does look kind of green, doesn't it? I think based on the palette color, since we have blue mail, it looks a touch on the green side. Ouch. I was hoping that there was nothing good on Zora Ledge. I forgot to look on our way through. Ah, that's a piece of game. Alright, very good. Hmm, so 500 bucks for that Desert Palace key. Not terribly good. But I guess now we're forced to go to Shershershurberderber. Shershershala. And probably then into... Uh, into Eastern. So we have nothing. <laughs> There is uh, literally nothing else we can do at this point. Okay, we do have bombs, yeah? Alright, good. We've been a real short trip without them. Heat of Tea Rock, there's our mirror. Map Iro Castle, the other most worthless piece of thing. All right, well that does get us the other. It does get us the other glove, getting the mirror. I suppose we can dip into Eastern and see what's up, since we're over here and all. <laughs> Which is kind of weird since hmm. we get the glove, then we can get into desert. We've already got the desert small key that we need. I should have asked Shershala which one was the green pen. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I don't have the song thing of load yet. Uh, ooh, I got big key. Oh, there's the Ganon's Tower big key. Holy shit. Wow. Amazing. That is the one thing in Key Sanity that can be literally anywhere. Pretty much. Uh, okay, so the song. Um, <clears throat> Hoi, small fry. From Wind Waker. <laughs> La 
it is a remix, yeah. The remix title called is, uh, is Hoy Small Fry. It's from the album 25 Year Legend, which is a remix album full of Legend of Zelda remixes. The drops. Oh, damn it, damn it. <laughs> 300 bucks. And we're down to one more. Let's see. Yeah, one more chest we can check here. Edge of Cape requires the cane of Samaria. Really? I think we have the big key, do we? We do not. Hmm. What area requires Samaria? Oh, maybe. Well, maybe the boss of Meyer has the cape then? That might be the only one. Excuse me. Take a gander at, and then we're out. And we gotta go get our glove and do whatever else. Could be a red herring. Well, both of those items are red. Yeah, you could be right. It's not a fake hint, though. I mean, they. they uh, They got wise, and in version 30, they made all the fake hints uh, green text, so you know immediately if it's bogus. Okay, so that was everything we could check in Eastern. Yeah, there are there are definitely hints in here that make no gosh dang sense. There's various sayings and such from other Zelda games that give you no useful info. It's flavor text, really. I guess we could check a couple chests in Hera as well while we're up here. That gets us to get out of my way, squirrel! You fucking cr asshole. Alright. That gets us into desert and to Mire Shed and Checkerboard Cave. Oh, Jesus, really? I'm gonna have to use bombs for this? <sighs> yuck. <laughs> Just fucking yuck, man. That's a piece of candy. Taint worth it. That was a bust. Still a few more items we can get in there at some point. But not right now. Quakerino to get into Meyer. Alright, this dude's gonna be a. Ugh, jeez, can you please go the fuck away? Alright, you know what? That's fine. Let's kinda take that. <laughs> take those iframes for what they're worth. Oh, right! We don't have Moon Pearl, so we can't get this. <laughs> There is some way to glitch into it. There is some way to super bunny into those chests, but I don't know how. Right, 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 right. Oops. That's 
why that square isn't highlighted on my map, because I can't technically get it yet. But, alright, what was Meyer? Meyer was quick, yeah? Burrito. Which one is this? Map of Desert Palace? Okay, we can see what it is. I don't think we have any other Light World Dungeon maps, do we? Just a normal ass crystal. Man, this is kind of concerning. 30 minutes in and no... No reliable weaponry. Just a few bombs and that's it. I'm gonna grab the powder though. And head into desert, I suppose. We've got the small key. We don't have the big key, or the boots to get whatever's on the torch. This is gonna be uh, very interesting, because I think after this point, I'm not sure where I'm gonna need to go. Okay, it's just a compass, so that's fine. Arrows and a unique item requires a big red bomb. Unique item. Unique item locked behind both five and six crystals. That's... Mm, that sucks. Cannabis Augmented Jello. Interesting. I wouldn't think those, uh, those two flavors would go together. Any sort of Jello flavor and then a touch of the herb. Can I do this now, too? Just bombs. Please don't... Ah! Alright, you go right there. Well, what the heck is this item gonna be then? This is the last one I've got access to, I think. The Moon Pearl, are you serious? Wow. Deep in desert. Shit. Alright, well, that opens up a whole butt ton more, including those two uh, in Meyer Shed here. And a whole bunch in Dark World, and even a few in Light World as well. Fire Shield. And a big key to T-Rock. Interesting, okay. Hmm. Hmm. It's still a little bit concerning. Lemon Jello and Cherry. Can't taste it. <laughs> Alright, I mean, that's fair. It would... Jello would probably overpower a, a great deal. Well, shit, like, what can I do here now? I suppose I do have the portal in Kakariko I can go to. Which one is that? Oh, that's the graveyard cliff. Okay. It's really the only thing I can do. I can technically do Batman. Wow, this is... This is gonna be some weird-ass routing. There's gonna be some weird ass routing and also very dangerous with only half a heart. Mm. We'll make it happen. We'll make some things work here. I'm gonna go check uh, Cave North of Grove or Cave North of Graveyard and uh, Bumper Cave first. It's kinda up here already. Sir. What we got there? Big three hundo. Not worth any time on that one. I was like, please, please step out the way, sir. Okay, I do have one bomb from this. 
provision of getting a few more and some hearts, which will be nice. Big 20, I guess I'll just grab it since I'm here. Well, that kind of sucks. All right, uh, I guess we'll make the whole Dark Kakariko play, maybe do the rest of the overworld too. We're kind of locked out of a lot of things without some sort of weapon. No. Also locked out in the sense that I have to be very careful about what I do. <coughs> I could technically go dip into Skull Woods, but that'd only yield maybe two spots? Something. Oh, the big key to Eastern. Okay. <coughs> Puts that back on the map for us. I probably don't want to go back there until we get the bow, though. Uh, actually, no. Let's do... Let's do, uh... <clears throat> other things first. Let's do, uh, uh, Digging Game and Frog. And, yeah, Digging Game and Frog, and then we can hit Hype Cave on the way through for Purple Chest. So either way, we're gonna have to warp back and forth a whole bunch. <laughs> nice. Okay. 300 bucks there. Hmm. Maybe we should just get Hype Cave right now. Nah. Nah, we'll get the rest of the stuff on the way through for Purple Chest. At least try to route this in some elegant fashion. <laughs> ah, there's a sword. All right. No longer swordless. Oh, I suppose I could... Can I take the chest with me? I don't know if I can through all this rigmarole. But we'll see. We'll just come back for it. That's fine. Bombs. Boo. Go warp back to Dark World and take care of the rest of this garbo. Let's see, what do we have big keys for? Eastern and Rock. Not really a whole lot of stuff we can do here. Except a bunch of overworld checks yet, we can. Do the front four of Thieves Town might not be a bad play. We can't do anything more up in Hera until we get the small key or the big key. Uh, Eastern, we have the big key now, so we could check the big chest. That's about it. Small key to T-Rock. I think that's number two. 
suppose while we're here, let's check on Thieves Town. First floor shouldn't be that bad. Half magic's pretty nice. It's pretty fly. Very useful if we could get a fire rod or something. <coughs> What was I saying about a fire rod? Fantastic. Alright, well that opens up Skull Woods for us. <clears throat> well, most of it anyways. I think we probably won't have enough. We won't be able to full clear it until we get at least one small key, I believe. For the back half. So we have Purple Chest, we'll do Cave South of Grove, Stumpy, and Hype Cave on the way to delivering this thing. Stumpy, thanks, man. Oh, I forgot to mark that I had blue mail. <laughs> Excellent. Well, that makes things a touch less dangerous. Big old 20, cave south the grove, not worth nothing. Hmm, okay, so it seems like probably Skull Woods will be the next play. That's the only other place where we can actually make appreciable progress. <laughs> so that's gonna be uh, three, maybe four items we can get there. The other place that's opened up a little bit is Eastern, since we've got the big key. Oops. Maybe that's it. Big old 20, not a good start for Hype Cave. Come on, let's get something better. Big key, Thieves Town, okay. Compass again is tower, worthless. Bombs, and... Small key to swamp, all right. So there's the small key to swamp. Shit. <laughs> well, that doesn't help me anyways, I need the flippers. Big key to Thieves Town is kind of worthless too, since we need the small key yet to make any sort of progress there. So we'll hold off on that for a bit. Skull Woods, definitely still on the table though. Hmm, I don't even know if I can get into Pod. I don't think I can. I've got no access to a teleporter or to a portal over there. And I don't have the hammer to get over there. And I don't have the flippers to swim over. Oi. Oi, this is kind of rough. <clears throat> it's 
not giving me a lot of places to go, which isn't, I guess, too terrible. Makes it very linear, but not giving me a whole lot of options. Wait, do we have the big key to skull boots? We don't. No. <laughs> Reduces how effective this is going to be then. So we should have access to uh, two more. This one and then the... well, three more, actually. Pod small key. This one, the one on the way, and then the one in the back half. So that'll leave the big chest and the boss for Skullwoods. Although, no, that's, I guess that's not true. We should be able to actually beat the boss at Skullwoods, because we can grab a small key from uh, one of the pots in this next room. Not this next room, but the one over to the left. Oops. Oh, small key to this dungeon. Well, alright. We don't even need to scam that extra key, then. We're gonna anyways, just for safety, I suppose. Hmm. It still leaves two items. Oh, right, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we should be safe with this, I think. Half magic and fire rod. Plus a blue potion, just in case things get dicey. Stretch. Oh, flippers. Oh, crap. That opens up swamp. <laughs> Open up swamp. You got to save magic here. Should be a pretty soft touch of a fight. So you don't fuck it up. Can... Ugh. 
Shit. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I was about to cower out and use my potion, but I'm glad I didn't. <clears throat> Map of Hera. Okay, and that was a crystal. We'll see which one. Oh, but now we can get the boots, though. Since we've got the mirror and the flippers. Alright, which crystal was that? That was crystal three. It's a normal ass one. Hmm, okay. We're still relegated to only single portal in Kakariko, which sucks, but. <clears throat> That's okay. It's probably faster doing it this way than the other way. Okay, so there's one item still in Skullwoods. It's the big chest. Hopefully that's not going to be necessary. But for now, we can go get the boots, which, let's see, how much will that open up for us? <clears throat> It'll get us Bonk Rocks and King's Tomb. But not really anything else, so probably stopping by Swamp on the way would be a better play. <clears throat> Excuse me, good lord. Because we do have the small key to get in, we don't technically need the big key. But we do need the hookshot to get across. Hmm. So we can at least check the front half, that should be good for... One, two, three, maybe four items? Okay, so Swamp is also a crystal, as is T-Rock. Okay. Oh, we should check with the dude to see which ones are five sixers. <clears throat> and that'll give us a pretty good... Oh, whoopsie. That'll give us a pretty good indication of which shit is pendants. Not like it matters too terribly much in Keysanity, since there's a higher probability we'll need to do those dungeons anyways. But, you know... Info is good. Knowledge is power, as has been said at one point or another, I'm sure. Hera, okay. <clears throat> that gets us a little bit further up there. Oh, I don't have the hammer, so I can't go any further than this anyways. Compass of Eastern Palace. Okay. That's right, I forgot you need the hammer to go any further. That was a quick stop off anyways, so now we'll grab the boots and then probably bust a move on up to Hera. Oh, should it? Mm, well, too late. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Now we can actually go fast. Uh, Hera, I suppose. Er, well, yeah. <clears throat> Let's do Hera first. We should... Oh, we can't. That's right, because we don't have the... Oh, yeah, yeah, we do. We don't have the small key for Hera. 
We do have the big key. So we should be able to advance a little bit, plus grab two more items. Well, three more, I suppose, with the boss. And then that will just leave the one in the basement. I'm gonna hope that this is either the green pendant or another crystal. It'd be real nice. Either way, I wouldn't be disappointed if it was either of those. But if it's a blue or red pendant, that's kind of shitty. the bomb jump. Let's try the bomb jump. It's been a hot second since I've done this bomb jump. We'll give it a go. Another pod small key. Big key of Evil's Bane is an Eastern Palace. Yeah, we already have that. <laughs> We've already got that one. Alright, that should be good enough, I think. The buckos for our trouble. It's mm. <laughs> a pretty slow Moldorm fight since we don't have uh, anything better than this plastic sword. Oh. It's still gonna take probably five spins, I think. Excuse me, sir. Oh. <laughs> nice. I think he's still gonna go super fast for this last one. That's the red pendant. Boo. Alright, that leaves one item there. Yeah, we've had a sword for about 15 minutes now. It's it's done some work for us. Uh, let's see here. What did we just get the big key to? Oh wow, we've got the pod big key and four small keys. We could go there next. We still need one more to kind of full clear it. Uh, let's actually do it this way. Let's go to Sanctuary. We can do both King's Tomb and Bonk Rocks. Oh, and technically I suppose we can do... All oh, right, we're gonna have to swim over to east side of Dark World now, since we still don't have a hammer <laughs> to get through one of those other portals. Dang it. Unless... Hey, another sword! Perfect. Great. I think that does open up one item in Castle Tower. Do need a key to get the second one. Unless we do we already have a key for that? I don't remember now. Just 50 buckos in King's Tomb. Not a very rich king. What a shit. Hmm. Oh, I suppose technically we can do Waterfall of Wishing now, too. Gotten the swords in order so far? It's not very random. Yes. Yes, we have. Um, since version 27, and this is version 30, 
uh, swords are always progressive. So you'll always find the plastic sword first, then the master sword, then the bacon sword, then the butter sword. It used to be that you could get the butter sword straight away. And then that would pretty much null and void the other three swords that you picked up. Potion and a heart. Meh. Uh, okay, so that takes care of that. Oops, I marked off the wrong one. It's not the catfish. Okay, let's see. I guess we go back to Dark World now. It's the best we got. Although, do we have Desert Big Key? We don't. Bummer. The text on the green bit says randomized swords. Does it? Oh, so it does. Yeah. I mean, randomized swords as opposed to, uh, as opposed to an uncle assured sword, I suppose, is what I meant by that. But, uh, let's see. Where are we headed now? Uh, east side, probably? Take the northern path. It's probably the quickest. That'll allow us to get catfish, swing down the pyramid, and go into pod. I'll have to look up what term they use on the actual generating site. I'm not sure if they call it randomized or what have you. I would have just done this, done this first, and then mirrored out to get the waterfall. Oh well. Okay, so one item here. What you got for us? King of Brian. Not useful for anything in particular, but it is in fact an item. Got. If it's the the fifth pod small key, then we can maybe finish that one off. Oh, G Tower. Oh, we can't do the rest of pod anyways. We don't have the hammer. Well, we may as well just go in there. It's probably going to get us five, perhaps six items. Uh, do we have the Thieves Town small key? We do not. We're still waiting on that to finish that bugger off. play a sax you get laid so much more. I hear you, buddy. <laughs> I hear you. I've always kind of wanted to learn the sax one as well. Maybe someday I'll pick one up and see what I can do. It's just a cool instrument. You can do some sick shit with it. I am HL. Alright. 110 bucks later, we'll get into pod. be able to do very much of this without the bubble, are we? Mm. Damn. Plenty of keys, but no bow to get through the right side. Oh, there's Quack. I mean, well, hold on a second here. I could try to do the potion glitch to get through uh, right side. <clears throat> I have a feeling I'll fail it. 
But we could try it anyways. Let's give it a go. You know, nothing ventured. And plus we've got the mirror to get out of that room if we soft lock, so... Whatever. Because I really don't want to use the... small key on the front door if I don't have to. So that'll necessitate getting another small key somewhere. Hint. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure on where the optimal place to use this is. I think it's... It's literally the middle of the screen. Oh, I can't even use it because I, I don't have any hearts gone. Alright. Well, here's what we're gonna do then. Just gonna take a couple damage. Go. Uh, it's right here. I think we did it, actually. Oh, damn! No, we didn't. I thought we had unlocked it. Nah, uh, lame. Well, shit. Okay, we're gonna have to go in the front door anyways. I'll have to look up how to do that, because that's actually kind of a sick glitch. So what I was trying to do, um, if you use a potion at the correct point in that hallway below those two rooms, you unlock the camera, so that when you get into the room with the two green mimics and the red mimic, you can shove them all to one side, and as soon as they're off the screen, at least according to the camera, um, the top door opens because it assumes you've killed everything. It's really neat. It's really neat and I wish I could pull it off. Alright, so we got the shield out of that. Ooh. So instead of needing the bow to kill the red mimic, you can just kind of shove them all out of the camera, and then it's just like, oh yeah, congrats, you did it. But, no such luck. I don't know the proper point to use that potion. Be able to at least get some of these, because then we would be able to get two more items on the right hand side and not have to waste a key. Did people find these glitches? I have no idea, man. Like, people got lots of time on their hands, plus they're very smart. <laughs> they're, they're very intelligent folk. Unfortunately, I have neither of those things time or smarts. Hey, another sword is fucking great, though. Good old bacon sword. That gets rid of the necessity of spin strats for Ganon. Fizz the bands. Bombos. Oh, that's right, we had gotten Quake before, too. So then that should open up Mire. Sorry, quack. You're right, quack. <clears throat> that does get us into mire, and with the boots we can get across the gap. We don't have Samaria, so we can't finish the thing? Plus we're missing a key. So do we have the... we don't have the big key. Oh, we do have a small key, though. This the bams, and then two items down here, and that'll be it, because we can't get this other one. So that'll leave one, two, three, four items, I think. Two on the right-hand side, one in that passage, okay, and then one with the boss. Okay, so there's that. Next will probably be Meyer. Let's dip into Meyer. We can't really do anything else, unfortunately. We could go into ice. Oh, shit. Hey, Huffman. Thanks for the raid. Welcome to everybody. <laughs> welcome, a welcome, welcome. Um, what was I gonna do now? Do we do Meyer or Ice? I really hate both of them, but... 
Let's do Meyer. Clever raid message received. <laughs> it was, in fact, very clever. Hmm, so I'm not 100% sure how many items we're going to be able to get out of this. Well, one of the small keys, but we don't have a big key. Ouch. Think about how I'm going to route through this. Probably standard route will be fine. Uh, not having Samaria kind of sucks because we can't finish anything off here. Not having a big key sucks because we can't get that chest, but... Missing a couple key things, like a hookshot or a bow at this point would be nice. <laughs> Speaking of... Okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> oh, my are you, you classy bitch. Visit the bands. Alright, so good thing we grabbed Meyer before Ice then, because now we've got the hookshot, so we should be able to do most of Ice now. That's really low safety. Where are you? Uh, blue. Save some magic. It's gonna matter. I think we could have gotten a, a shovel. Interesting. Could have gotten a full magic refill in the south room, I believe. That's what happens when I don't play this very often anymore. Forget, forget simple shit like that. Oh well. Smoke them if you got them. Or drink them if you got them. Or, you know, do whatever, I suppose. We got a few seconds. So I think at this point, all we're going to be leaving behind is the big chest and the boss. So the rest of them we should be able to get. Because it'll be this one, and then it'll be the other chest on the way back down. Survivor. Oh, and the one in the center room. That's right. Jello shots work out, that's pretty sick. I would never have thought to combine combine the herb with the jello. Map of Skullwoods worthless at this point. Like alcohol alcohol jello shots are pretty good too. Those will lay you flat if you're not careful, but they're pretty dang delicious. Uh, what do I want to do with this? I just want to go with the full rounds. So just do it this way, since I'm not going to be able to get the chest anyways. At least I don't think I have the key I didn't okay. So not... I guess the hookshot was the big find there. Um, so that opens up 
What does that open up? That opens up Dark Death Mountain. Oh, Dig Spot. You know what? Let's do Dig Spot first. I ain't leaving that one just hanging out. Fancy purple armor. Looks like they got a raise. got the mirror so we can do it the fun way. I guess we're knocking out to uh, light side East Death Mountain as well since we didn't have a way to get over here before. Ice Rod is pretty nice. <coughs> Gets rid of that little fetch quest search for everything that we need there. I'm feeling the bow is going to continue to include us for a long-ass time. As the bow does. Big old 20. Another big old 20. Another big old 20. <laughs> Come on, just clean sweep. Big old 20s all the way down. Ah, oh, no. It's key to Skull Woods. And a compass to Pod. Alright. Meh. Burrito. I'm kind of hungry. Unfortunately, that is not one of uh, the consumable burritos. Like 12 hearts, we are good to go. 12 hearts plus red mail. Easy peasy. We don't need any more health. What we could use, however, is a hammer and the bow and the silver arrows. All of those things would be nice. All right, Death Mountain East, Spiral Cave, Floating Island we don't care about. Now oh, for the dark side of things. Another nice six items. Super Bunny and four in Hookshot Cave. And then after this, we're just gonna have to kind of figure out where we can go. We might be able to get into T Rock. Small key, well. Now we're probably good for T-Rock, honestly. Map of Eastern. So that should put us at four small keys now? Which I think is all of them. Or three. That might be enough. Plus we've got the big key. So I guess T-Rock, it's telling us T-Rock, and assuming it's not Ether to get into it, we are good to go. of ice. Alright. That's better. Busy to Bams. Burrito to Thieves Town. We don't really care about. Oops. Right at the end, too. Ten arrows. Woo! Alright. Well, 
let's see what T-Rock has for us. Please not eat it. See, this is one of the very few times where I'm like, please let me get into T-Rock. <laughs> it is Visited Bambos. All right, we in. Oh, no, we're not. We don't have the hammer. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay. Um, I think ice is the next play, then. Man, not having a hammer really keeps us out of a lot of places, so we're gonna try ice. Half magic and fire rod and hook shot means ice would be a pretty soft touch. We don't have the hammer to finish it all off, but... Should be good to go. And is there anything else we can... Okay, Thief's Town is a 5-6-er. Ashes, fire lock, and misery mire. I think we already got that. Yeah, we already got the two fire lock things. Hmm. All right. So I think two small keys might be enough. Let's really learn the key counts in each one. So I don't have to keep second guessing shit. I should be able to get most, if not everything, out of here, except for. The big chest, obviously. And then not being able to get to the boss. Well, no, we can get to the boss with the big key. Small key to Castle Tower. Alright, so that should be the last one that we need there. So there's two items. It's disgusting as it is. I don't know why I'm fighting these guys. I don't need to. Thieves Town Big Key requires a bomb. We have Thieves Town Big Key? We already have that one. Alright. Very good. Good setup for it, even though I fell a couple times. Nice and clean afterwards. Hmm, do I go that way? I think I just make my way around. We're not gonna mess with my normal route on this, because I don't... I don't know if one key is enough to do the other way. Probably is. But we're not gonna risk it. Small key to T Rock. Okay, so that's definitely all the T Rock small keys now. We don't have the big key, do we? Oh, we do! Huh! How did I get the big key? <laughs> Alright. Good thing I checked. Good thing I checked. we find the hammer in here, we're not going to be able to finish this off. Slipping on in there. 
Hey, the arrow of destiny. <laughs> the run is now valid. Damn it. I remember where all the rest of the items are now. It'll be the vanilla big key. Oops, actually. It'll be the vanilla big key, the chest on the way there. What's the third one gonna be? Oh, I think that counts the key under the rock as an item as well. Does it though? Hmm. I don't remember. I guess we'll see. We'll find out. It's that one, it's the vanilla big key that we're on our way to. I think, oh, I can't even do it because I don't have the, the hammer. Shit. Well, we can get one more and then we're out, I guess. You bastards. Come on. <laughs> well, that's good. That opens up a heck of a lot for us now. Oh, that didn't count, was it? Oh, that's right, because there's one in this room yet, too. Right. Yeah. Some literacy. Very good. Hour and a half in almost, and we're able to read. Key to Misery Mire, I don't think we really care about that anymore. Still need uh, Samaria to finish up Mire. Now we should be good to go for T Rock. Uh, what was that? Bombos, right? Now we should be good to go. Oh, wait, no, we're not good to go for T Rock because we don't have Samaria. Never mind. <laughs> Unless we're going to get Samaria from Cold Stair. That would be a heck of a thing. can we do now, though? With the hammer and toe, I suppose we do have, um, the two tablets we can check. Ether and Bombo's tablets. We can do Spike Cave, which sucks ass. Uh... We can get further in Swamp. We can actually do the entirety of Swamp. Um, with the exception of the big chest, since we don't have the big key. I don't have the Thieves Town small key. Can't go any further there. Mire, we need Samaria. Spellwoods, we have one we don't have the big key in, so we can't get the big chest. Uh, Eastern, we don't have the bow. Eastern, we don't have the bow. Desert, we don't have the big key. Hera, we completed, I think, but we don't have the big key. Wait, what did we leave behind in Hera? Oh, right, the uh, basement chest. Oh, this was another crystal. All right. And ice is full cleared. Is this the other five sixer, per chance? It was not. It's a normal last one. Uh, sh shoot. Okay. Okay, well, ice is off the table. That's good. I guess we'll do the rest of the overworld garbo. The two tablets. Let's see. The two tablets, Spike Cave, and. What the heck is this one here? Oh, Peg Cave, right. Or we could go, we could do the rest of the swamp right now, I suppose. That would be a better play. More item dense. And then we can hit the tablet afterwards. I think it told us Samaria was locked behind the big red bomb. 
Or no, it said a unique item. Which very well could be Samaria. That's what I'm thinking of. don't have the swamp small key. Shit. Nope, I guess we're not doing swamp. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. Alright, well, back to the original plan. Man, so we're missing small keys for Thieves Town and Swamp that prevents us from doing anything else there. Uh, Mire, we can't go any further with without Samaria. Pod, we can't go any further. Oh, that's not true. We can go further into Pod now that we have the hammer. We can do the, we can do the boss. Really, that's about it. So we really need a bow to go any further with that. Oh, is also locking us out of Eastern. Although we do have the big key to Eastern, so that's one more item there. Ugh, just these spotty one-off items everywhere. It sucks. Oh, I forgot to mark our second crystal, too. Doink. Hmm. Alright, so Peg Cave. We'll warp out and loot up to Death Mountain to get Ether Tab and Spike Cave. And then I guess we do the more more one-offs and shit. Tab Spike Cave, then we'll hit up Pod. Beat up good old King Helmosaur, and I guess we'll see what we can do after that. Maybe we'll get some worthwhile items. bomb and arrow capacity increases back in, instead of just trip bombs and ten arrows. At least make it something useful. Because at this point, one, I don't have the bow, so I'm not using arrows, ever. And two, we have very little reason to use bombs anymore, unless it's for a bomb jump. Eh? Ah. <laughs> Lame. All right. Let's rip those two checks. Can't go any further into swamp. Can't go any further into mire. Can't go any further into thieves. 
one chest in Eastern and the boss at Pod. That's all we got. We got two items, two item checks we can do. I think. Oh, and Castle Tower, I suppose. We can do Castle Tower. Probably should have done that first. Let's do that first. <laughs> Let's do that first. Because that's two on its own. Yeah, not having the bow sucks. <laughs> like, come on. I really want the bow. And also the silver arrows. Like, both of those things together would be real nice. Samaria is nice, too. That gets us into... Uh... T-Rock, and it also lets us finish Meyer. Yeah, fucking... Alright. Ah, ice Palace. Too little too late there, buddy. Okie dokie. I mean, I think the mire... Mire completion will only get us one item as well, so we're still better off doing... Uh, pod Easter. Quick succession. But knowing my luck, the bow will be in mire. And then I'll have to come back this way anyways. Some money down on that. Let's get get a line of odds running in Vegas for that shit. They bet on weird shit in Vegas. Let's see why they wouldn't bet on this. Still can't do right side, uh, but we should be able to go directly for Helmosaur. Uh, no, we can't. We can't because I don't have another small key. Fuck. Never mind. I guess we're doing <laughs> the big chest in Eastern. If it's a vanilla bow, that would actually be okay. <laughs> Vanilla bow would be okay at this point. I'd be happy for it. So that would let us finish off Eastern right away. As well as getting a little bit more out of pod. Big money, no whammies. Damn it! Piece of candy. Okay. All right, that leaves. Well, T Rock now is fully open to us, pretty much. So let's do. Let's do Meyer first. We'll knock that out. We'll leave one item there. Um, but we'll at least have it done. I hope. And then we can go up to T-Rock and get, you know, probably 10 items or some, some ridiculous amount. Mm -hmm. 
Well, not having a bow kind of sucks for Vitreus, but yeah, we'll make it work. We've got bacon swords, so that's good enough. Bacon sword and a whole host of other backup and safety items. Including this. Shit, I don't have the big key. Well, never mind, we're not doing Meyer. <laughs> Fuck, that's right, yep. Yeah. Need a big key. T Rock it is. T Rock better be goddamn stacked. At this point, it better be stacked. It's my goodness. key items go. I think the the bow and a handful of big keys are all we're looking for now. Because we've already got the Ganon's Tower big key. We got that super early. And the rest of our items are okay. second here. <sighs> Alright, so I'm expecting the Thieves Town small key. Uh I suppose we can go to the swamp too. Thieves Town small key, the We already got that one. Um, a pod small key, or both of them. Both of them would be actually kind of nice. Um, the bow would also be good here. What else are we blocked on? The wire big key? The desert big key? Well, there's a pod small key. That's good. Gets us to well, it gets us to the end, really. So without the bow, we can't get the other one. Well, that either gets us to the end or it gets us to that other uh, hallway with another chest. Definitely doesn't matter. Stay right there. Whatever. Ah, there's our bow. Okay. <laughs> Finally. Cripes. Fucking in T-Rock. I can't believe it. Oh no, that's not true. I can believe it. I just hate it. 
<laughs> I just hate that it was here. <sighs> Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. T-Rod. Woo! Wow, 12 items. 12 items in T-Rock. Key sanity, that's... That's pretty wild. Since we're up here, we may just finish this entire gosh dang thing off. Two. Excellent. So really 13. Consider that. Oh, well, if I actually remember to do it. I think we're good, like, key item-wise. We're just missing some big keys. And some small keys, as the case may be. Bucks. Alright, so it'll be four on Laser Bridge and then Trinex. So far, <laughs> yeah, it's not great so far. Ouch, you. Yeah, big key of desert. Okay, well, we needed that at some point, so that's good. Gives us another dungeon we can go beat for a crystal. Oh, 
fucking... There's Crystal 3. <laughs> so whatever. Okay, so we're still missing the big key for Meyer, so we can't do both of those. What are we missing for... What are we missing for Swamp? Anything? Oh, I didn't have the hammer. That's why I couldn't go any further, right? Yeah, so we should still be able to do some of Swamp at the very least. Oops, that's not gonna get me anywhere. Oh. Right, so the ladder. Oh, and Pod and Easter now that we've got the bow, so alright. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. I'm gonna hope against hope that the last chest in Pod oops, will not be ne necessary. That needs another small key. Since we wasted one on the front door. on what either of Pod or Eastern are, crystal pendant-wise. I think one of them has to be a pendant, but maybe it's the green pendant, and maybe Shashurshala has a key or something, who knows. here when we're trying the potion glitch. Now we don't gotta do nothing. Wait. Is it? We're just slam right into the spikes. Good timing. Good timings all around. Ah, Butter Sword, okay. That's even better, because looking like we're gonna have, to, gonna have to do Silverless Ganon, which sucks, but having Butter Sword at the very least will help our cause. As it will on most any other boss, too. Uh, 
keys to keys. Okay, seeing how the hands are. What do you got for us? And another crystal. That's good. It's gonna be the normal one or the other five six here. It has to be the other five six here, it is. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, yep, so then the other ones have to be pendants. So Meyer and Eastern are pendants, we just don't know which ones. Which one's gonna be which shoe? Kinda hoping it's gonna be a vanilla green here so we can just dump over to Shasharla. Get the extra item there. hit there, but that was pretty sick. Oh, yeah, the other ones that would have spawned in. Good. Vanilla green at the very least. What's this one? Oh, Mimic Cave. Yeah. Mimic Cave we did. Sure, sure, Shula will be almost ready to do... Oops. I suppose I do need to do this to get around it. I guess to swamp to finish that off. I remember if there's anything keeping me from doing that. Meyer, we don't have the big key. We tried. We're still missing the small key for. Uh, still missing the small key for. Uh, Thieves Town. Uh, Castle Tower, we did. A whole lot of high density areas we can go. Now everything is just all spread out. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. But this is how mid to late game randos usually go for me. It's in that one thing, or in this case, those three things. I think. I don't 
have the I don't know, swamp pig key. That's fine. We don't need that. We don't need that to get to the boss. Might as well be leaving an item behind. But what else is new? Worthless. <laughs> Don't flood the key. Do not flood the key. I remind myself, because I think I did that. I did that once. I told myself never again. We do the dumb and flood the key. That's right. I think whatever else is remaining behind. Big red bomb, it said rupees and a unique item, I think? I don't know if it counts... If it counts big and small keys as a unique item. Probably not. Maybe big keys, but certainly not small keys. At least I hope... I hope not. <laughs> I hope not, anyways. Don't exactly know. I hope. I think I did. Small key to Hera. Okay, that opens up one more item there. That's the other small key we're missing, I think. Um, sucks ass, but whatever. Five more items we can get here. Well, four, I, I suppose. It's no big key.
Oh. Eh. Ah, well, shit. We may as well go back for it, then. Might lead to another big key or something. the other pod small key okay well all right then been a bit of a bust, but this is a crystal dungeon, so, you know, whatever. to Misery Mire. It's Crystal 5. Good. So now we can go finish off Misery Mire. For real this time. <laughs> do we have the big key to desert yet? I think we do. I was just kind of on my way over there. Yeah, we do. Okay. Very good. So we can do those back to back. Oh. Oh, but Misery Mire is, uh, a pendant. It's the other pendant dungeon. So it's probably not the most valuable boss to beat, at the very least, but I think there is still a few items in there that we need. At least the boss and the big key, possibly more. Actually, no, that might be it. Just those two. Eh, yeah, it'll be quick. It'll be fairly quick, it's not gonna be that much. A time loss. Vitreous with the Thieves Town small key on him. chest and then we'll loop back around for the rest. Ice Palace small key. No, nope, that's not the one I wanted. I think I just need the Thieves Town small key now and we'll be good. Then we're fine. Trying to find that motherfucker though is gonna be a, a trick and a half it seems. If it happens to be on, say, Master Sword Pedestal, we'll be set to go grab it, because we'll have all three pendants. Uh, how dumb would that be? The fucking Thieves Town small key on MSP. Like, come on. That would be literally the worst at this point.
know if that counts towards actually hitting him. It doesn't. Dang. <laughs> that would have been cool. Ah, butter burrito. Ha! <laughs> Misery Mire. Woohoo! Well, that's all the pendants, too. Fantastic. Uh, well, shit. I guess it's desert right away, and then we're looking at one, two, three individual items in three different dungeons. MSP and... ugh. That's... I think that's it, then. I mean, besides Mushroom Spot and, uh... Uh, Double Chested Fairy, I suppose. <laughs> Let's hope one of these items in desert will get it to us. So then once that's it, then we're in go mode and we can blaze a trail right the fuck out of here. Yes! Okay, we're good. We are good to go. We need no more anything. Phew! Good, I was really worried that it was gonna be MSP or some ridiculous garbage like that. So, alright, the desert comes through for us. We are ready to go. Okay, so this might not be too bad of a total time then. Knock this out for Crystal 6, head to Thieves Town for Crystal 7, G Tower is a straight shot up to Ganon. Well, Drick Wizard the second first, I suppose. And then uh, to Ganon, and then we're done. We don't have silver arrows, so it'll have to be a have to be a silverless Ganon, which kind of sucks. But with half magic and a blue potion and all that, we should be able to pull it off without too many problems. Recycle. Alright, Crystal 6, Place to be locked out of for so long. Usually, Thieves Town is a is a quick win. And we're still gonna have to go up and pretty much get every other item anyway. So maybe we'll luck out and get the silvers on our way through. That would be super rad. No, we would have needed others. Oh, maybe we weren't locked out of here. We could have... We could have done this a long time ago, actually. 
Because the only other small key we would have needed would be for the big chest, which we're going to be skipping anyways, since it's out of the way. Dang it, I've locked myself out of here for no good reason. I forgot, you get the small key in the corridor to open that door, and then you get the small key under there to open that door. Yeah, shit. <laughs> well, good thing it didn't totally fuck us over then. So if I had been staying out of here without really remembering that I wasn't staying out of here for a good reason. I think there wasn't a key item in here or something. Just in case. What if the silvers are in there? That would save me a heck of a lot of time. Alright, fuck it, let's do it. Let's do it, we're already down here. If it is the silvers, I'm gonna lose my mind. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Very healthy seed, that's for sure. Silvers could be anywhere in G Tower, I suppose. Right? That's gonna be the next next most item dense area we could possibly get to, but I'm not gonna bother looking for them. At this point it's not worth it. to be the other 5-6 here, but we don't care what's behind the uh, double chested fairy there. So straight to G-Tower we go to make use of the G-Tower big key that we found probably about two hours ago. Tower by 221. Should have enough small keys 
to our name to not even need to look around for him, so... Let's go, go, go! Yeah, three is plenty. Actually, no, I won't need any for armor, so that's the one that's the one refight we don't need to do. Since we don't have silvers, we don't care about our arrow count for Ganon, so we should be good. We'd rather have silvers, but it's not in the cards for us tonight. Pull that one out. Usually get that. Usually get that one too often. Silvers, holy crap! Heck yeah! All right, never mind. No silverless tonight. <laughs> oh fucking hell! RNG is on our side for once in its life. My goodness. <laughs> excellent. Just excellent. Ah, fuck you, Orion. Not even that will dampen my spirits, though. Finding silvers there. Alright, hey, validation. Piece of candy. Woohoo. <laughs> Whoop de doo, Tarantula Town. Come on, man. Get out of here. You got arseholes? What? 
it's bad angles. Real bad angles. Ah. Wow, alright, cool, this is great. Wow, that was, that was some good angles there. <laughs> Fuck you, jerk wizard. Alright. He's gone. Well, we could still make this a two and a half. That would be pretty solid considering how much jerking about the seed did to us. This for silver, this would probably take another two minutes, two or three minutes after that. But now, now we're ready to go. However, so we should keep an eye on our healthy health and not be afraid to pop that blue potion when necessary. Is that gonna be enough for that? I did find the arrows in your tower, you piece of shit. Double there? Holy heck. Excellent Ganon fight if I can hit him. Ah, dang it! <laughs> oh, shit! Okay, careful now. Careful now. Alright, pretty good Ganon fight. <laughs> that could have been real bad if I had taken a death there. Holy heck. Nice, though. Nice. Despite that seed's best efforts. Two twenty nine oh one. Okay. Very good. Well, prepare to fast forward. Let the credits roll, check out stats, and then we'll wrap it for tonight. We certainly got a whole heck of a lot of items that go around. Almost the entire overworld. Sands one, two, three, four spots. One, two, three individual items in three different dungeons. And then pretty much the entirety of Ganon's Tower, except for the couple that I checked on the way up. Which, uh... Very fortunately held silvers for us. Nothing but pocket change on MSP tonight. Good thing it wasn't that dumbass Thieves Town small key, which I didn't even really need. Like, I didn't even need to be looking for that. <laughs> so I was an idiot and didn't remember that we had all the all the keys that we needed. Just needed the big key, really.
Oh well. Oh well. What are you gonna do sometimes? Sometimes you do a smart, sometimes you do a dumb. If you're me, most times you do a dumb. <laughs> Sword was kind of late. Boots were super late. Flute was gr very early. I love that. There was sort of in there. We got like once we got the first sword, we just broke it right after, right after, right after, and all that. Only one death, which was the intentional death warp out of first half of escape. Other than that, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Collection rate's a little higher than I would have liked, but so it goes. So it goes. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be tomorrow night, 7 p.m. CDT. I'm doing some Assault Android Cactus speedrun practice for marathon purposes, of course. Um, and then after that, Monday night, 7 p.m. CDT, we'll be back on Monolith. We'll give that game another week because I'm having a good time with it. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.